Everybody, welcome back to Techit Legends with me, Sid. And of course, <laughs> I've now recorded regrowth for earlier today. Um, of course, not recording it today, but several days in advance. I completely forgot that today is Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've, I'm completely out of touch. Um, so, we did play around last episode with Classic Bees. Uh, now, I have, in the meantime, I've finished or finished the tunnel all the way through to the exit and I have now got this thing upgraded completely to tier 2 so it's producing many diamonds um, not as many as I'd like but then again you know I'm greedy and first thing I would like to do I actually should have kept one of those is make myself my first dark matter tool a dark matter sword um, and you, I think you can empower it. I mean, there should be a unempower as well. Oh, it's shift. Yeah, cool sounds. Um, now there's a reason why I want a dark matter sword, and that is because give me uh, a stack of cobble, please. I need to go out and spend the night outside. And the reason I need to spend the night outside is I need to bait an enderman. I need an ender pearl. Um, I only need the one because, of course, I've got equivalence exchange. So, you know, we can just use that to our advantage. Um, my armor's pretty crap, so I don't really want to. I suppose I could, with Spurning with this sword, go one to one with an enderman quite easily. But um, my philosophy as always in life is why do things the dangerous way when you can do them the not dangerous way you see it, it it sounds better in your head trust me so what i'm going to do is do my usual uh eat a chop i'm going to come out and find a nice expanse of desert aka here and we are going to very quickly build ourselves an enderman trap and of course I didn't bring any ladders with me it doesn't matter we will uh, uh, there's a tree there <laughs> because it's getting on towards night time I didn't really want to wait another Minecraft day for it so come on give me the tree <clears throat> do 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 thank you very much and yeah this this will do more than adequate for for what we want to achieve here. Um, we need the old pit going down and then down again. Uh, and eventually oh crap I've just kind of dug myself in haven't I? Oh well we can sort that. Uh, because of course we're only on the sand at the, uh, sand at the moment so yeah, not a problem. So I want you these guys to drop down here. Um, and I want to be... Let's have a look. I just want to be here. And we'll just whack a thing in there. A quick craft of a crafting bench. Some sticks and ladder uh, okay you can come out and we'll get this in quite nice and quick and easy and then around the top here we need to put uh, so that's one two three did I bring enough cobble? I'm sure I just about did. Normally a stack does the trick. And put a lip around the edge. Here now. Obviously the Enderman can pick up the sand, but this this is very temporary. Ow. This is uh, very, very temporary. And oh, uh, I could have done with a piece of dirt. There we are. Boom. There we go. 
uh, we need to take this out. And grab all of that. Uh, and I think if I go and step back here, we should be able to block ourselves in like so. So this is usual, my usual Enderman trap, uh, or mob desert mob trap, and I'll just uh, illuminate it here, just so we've got a little bit of defense, and yeah, I can now wait for the elusive Enderman, well there's the elusive zombie, you're welcome to come over Mr. Zombie, because I don't really care. Stupid. Uh, and yeah, he's in the pit. <laughs> um, the zombie's not really what you want. We've got McBow ready just in case we get any um, over over enthusiastic creepers. Because you, ooh, oh, you can see the string on that when it renders. Interesting. And then it's just the waiting game. <coughs> oh, he's still down there. Spiders can be a problem with this, be aware, that is. You can lose, leave the pillars in, but you lose your field of vision, but it stops the spiders getting in if they come over to you, but... It works. All we need to do now is do our little lighthouse, waiting for an Endermans. And once we've got an Endermans, we stare at him meaningfully, and he'll come and try and kill us, and then we kill him and get his Ender Pearl. And the world will be good and happy. That, of course, is the theory. The practice is you can sometimes spend a night sat out here and never see a bloody Enderman. And if you do see an Enderman, he's so far off in the distance, you never actually get the chance to uh, stare at him. He, he's, he just doesn't notice you. Anyway, I'm going to sit here for the night and uh, here we go. They don't like it when you look at them. This is the first one of the night. We've been here a while. Come on then. Come on. I'm staring at you. Come on then. Hello. That's it. Done. Job, as they say, is a good one. Um, I'm probably going to stay here the night because I'm well, a fair way, way from home and I don't really want to, you know, attract any strays coming back with me. But we have the important thing. We have an ender pearl. Uh, and you'll see why I want an ender pearl not too uh, long. But yeah, until a bit later on, I will see you. All right, so I'm back. And the reason I wanted an ender pearl was fairly straightforward. Let's get it learned first. Gendustry. Mm. Gen. not gem industry. Gendustry. First important rule learn to spell gendustry. Now, we're going to need several machines uh, for gendustry. And the first thing we are, well, we definitely want the industrial apiary. We are going to want the mutagen producer, which is. yeah, kind of things. And then you've got the mutatron. Now, in an ideal world, what you actually want is the advanced mutatron. Uh, but unfortunately, the advanced mutatron requires... I thought you required... Yeah. The genetics processor, as does the mutatron. Um, and to get that, you need a pulsating chipset, which you can craft on a table. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive to do it without it, but you still need this, um, which means we need to break into the um, assembly table. So, we're going to have to start off and get a... Let's have a look. We need lasers. Laser. We need these, which are pretty straightforward. They have an EMC, so let's do two diamonds, five redstone, two obsidian. Diamond, two uh, obsidian, two, I think it was, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, and then just some redstone. 
One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and we can get that thing going, uh, like so, and then we can get it learnt. And then we, I'm going to do. Oh dear, six of those I think for the time being, and then we need an assembly table, uh, which is a diamond, a diamond gear. So we need a gold gear, iron gear. Right, let's have a look. Have I got any gears learnt? I've got gold. Then we need to do diamond. We need one, two, three, four of those. Uh, we ought to get that learnt while we're at it. Uh, and then we need a diamond, six obsidian and a redstone. Uh, blump. Uh, obsidian, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a redstone. And so that would be uh, like so. Did I learn the diamond? Oh, well, too late if I didn't. Uh, yes, I did. And that has an EMC, so we might as well learn it. I don't think we'll ever need to make another one, but there you go. And then we want some gold kinesis pipes. Uh, and what we're going to do... Is I'm going to set this up downstairs because we've got the space and if I go up around here somewhere ah no stop it <laughs> yeah <laughs> how dare you <laughs> how dare you do that to me I'm just about to do it to myself again Right, so if I go and we'll have, just get the lasers on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we can take out the wall uh, behind, that's there, uh, and there, at least we can get this stuff going. Uh, okay, eat. <laughs> and let's get the old kinesis pipe. Oh, God, let me uh, jump up a little bit here and we'll bring you out and down. And then we'll pop these in there. These in there. And then there and there. I'll just do a quick, yeah, we're good. These are getting juice. Let's get them fully charged. And then we need the old assembly table there. I think that'll do. I'm going to get rid of these torches in the not too distant future as well. So they're fully charged. Now let us go and grab an end of, well, I've got the pearl, I need a piece of redstone. Uh, in fact, we probably need more than one, to be honest. Let's have a look. If we go into Gender Street. So, the Advanced Mutatron is where we want to go, and we need a Mutatron. So, I need three pulsating red uh, chip, steps, chip sets. Which are, so I basically need two lots of that. So, give me a pearl, and then give me two redstone. And uh, we should be good. I may relocate this assembly table at some point. It's not really the ideal place for it, but um, we want that. And they're all kicking in, doing their thing. I'm not sure, what, as I say, I'm not sure whether the power system we've got is really enough. No, it seems, seems to be happy. Right, so we'll leave that doing its thing. Now, in the meantime, let me get rid of you. You can go in there. And what I would like to do is make a couple of other things while waiting on that. I would like to make an alchemic chest. Well, I want to make an alchemic bag. But to do that, we're going to need an alchemic chest. So we're going to need each of the dusts, a diamond. So dust, one of those, one of those, and one of those 
Diamond, two stone. And just because my inventory is getting a bit cluttered, I mean, that's fairly normal for me, but two iron and a chest. Two iron and a chest, and I want to learn this because I should have learned it in the table when I uh, when I did it last time, but of course, you know, I didn't. So there you go, that's just the way this thing happens. So we'll get you learnt. And then the bag, oh, come on, give me, is three of those and some wool. So more dust. One, two, three, and... All right, so we've not only been going 15. I thought we'd been going longer. We'll take a, a soul panel three. That should be enough. And the next thing we're going to want to build is an industrial apiary. So for that, we're going to want sturdy casing, some bronze gear, V receptacle, a piston, and some glass. So sturdy. That... One, two, one, two, piston, we need a piston, piston, uh, and four glass. One, two, three, four. Now, basically, these things are identical to apiaries in every respect, except that they use power. Well, that's it. Um, now there are upgrade modules, and we're probably going to want some of these at some point. But the the one I would like is to do well. This is the lifespan upgrade, which we haven't got the makings of right now. We've got noisy people outside my door, but there we go. Automation we could make, so we're going to need to make some of that. Oh, we've got nowhere near what we need to make. Need to make uh, the the blank first which is tin redstone and things just okay sorry about that the uh, the wife was uh, wanting my attention shall we say um, yeah we'll go with that <laughs> yeah no she was just popping ahead in to say hello as, as wives do so you're gonna need upgrade frames now what I would like is an automation upgrade I would loyally like the lifespan upgrade but as I say I need to go and don't think I've got spidey. I don't think I've killed much of anything, to be honest. But we can go with this one, which is a bronze gear, two redstone, and piston. So we'll get a gear. We'll go for some. Well, uh, not bronze piston. Come on, come on. Keep it. Keep with it. And was it redstone? It was. A redstone. Do off. So take one of these, whack that in, that's either side, one of those, one of those. Automation upgrade. Now this is pretty damn cool. Um, so let us just go and get our cultivated princess. And we'll also grab out our bealizer and we'll just have a, a look at what our cultivated princess has got. So short lifespan. Production speed fast. It needs flowers. Two by two, uh, two fertility. It's got a nine six nine territory and no no ill effects. It's quite happy with any temperature. So we may need so we may need to take that down. Uh, it can produce as bog standard honeycomb. Uh, possible mutations and tells you all about it. So let us have a look at the other upgrades we need. We probably need a Let's have a look. We need a humidifier upgrade, which is going to be glass, bronze, and sugar cane. Now that increases it by 25%. So let us go with uh, what do we need? Bronze? Was it four? One, two, three, four. We're almost certainly going to want a humidifier upgrade. So we need that. And we also need cane, sugar. One, two, three, and some glass. Now, these may, we may need more than one of these, so don't be surprised if you do. But that will increase the humidity in the industrial apiary, 
and then we need a cooler upgrade which needs snowballs that might be it is a problem so we're going to need to go and visit let's have a look on the map uh, N no it's over that way I can't remember the key for uh, the full size map now so we're going to go head out have a little visit got me uh, a emergency overnight bed hopefully nobody's coming through to visit any aggro pigmen oops no we all seem pretty good so the mountains were over this way if I recall we need a bit of snow and uh, yeah fingers crossed the world will be good and happy and we can get some snow um, yeah I'll <laughs> no point in me uh, recording while I'm just walking and rambling but uh, yeah see you and I got some snow I also realized that these things have got EMC so we might as well learn these we definitely want to learn I'm not bothered about that but I definitely want to learn those so we wanted the cooler upgrade which was basically one of those for bronze and three snowballs so get me some snow thank you get me some bronze one two three four and a bit more glass and we should be able to make a cooler upgrade which will allow us to make the environment much more friendly for my bees so I'm going to get another humidity I think two of those should be enough and we'll get oops not call a cooler or we'll cake four of these just to see how many we need we've got our cultivated princess I'm not sure what time it is what's uh, let's have a look almost time to sleep so we'll uh, we'll wait until the morning just go and see how our super power, our tier two yeah that's going pretty good um, we, in fact we can probably upgrade another tool with that let's have a look one two uh, oh no not quite oh well oh we're almost we're almost the point where we can make ourselves a dark matter pick which will be nice and eventually we'll get our dark matter armor and then we can start working on red matter but um, for the time being let's go and plonk one of these down instead of one of these apiaries do, do, do. Now there are a whole load of upgrades. Let me uh, just bring those up quickly. Upgrades. Uh, if we can find the, there we go. They're all down here. So you've got planes emulation. So if they need planes, then you can override and give it planes. Light upgrade. Um, I think that basically means that they can work at night. That increases the flowering of pollination. So that could be useful if you're doing trees. Winter emulation upgrade uh, for ti tiger biomes, dryer, auto, hell, so for nether bees you can do that. Pollen scrubber um, reduces the chance of pollinization. Seal makes them rain protector, genetic stabilizer, uh, gives them no decay. All sorts of territory upgrades, ocean emulations, sieve, yeah. A lot of upgrades uh, and they all stack in different ways within these things and ultimately we'll maybe have th four maybe uh, I think I've got did I have three or four I've got four apiaries so what we'll do is we shall take you out and we'll take you out of the picture um, and we shall place our industrial apiary here and we're going to stick a that next to it so that should start powering up it does give it an automation upgrade it's saying there's no queen at the moment it's always on and if I put you in it's basically saying it's hostile so it's temperature is hot so let's start bringing the temperature down temperature is warm temperature is normal humidity is arid 
Oh, I know what to do it the other way around. The dehumidifier, didn't I? Damn it. Uh, <laughs> yes. Helps if you actually get the uh, the right upgrades. But the beauty is, of course, they've got AMC, so I can just whack them in and create um, new ones. Nice. Oh, I put trap uh, pressure plates on the door as well. If you hadn't noticed me wandering in and out without any significant... Let me get rid of those then. Uh, and we want a dryer upgrade, which is just the same thing but sand. So, bronze, one, two, three, four. Glass. One, and a bit of sand. One, two, three. You might as well have that bit of birch. And we'll uh, quickly knock one of a uh, few of these out. Uh, no, hang on. No, they want humidity not. Do you know what? Learn that. Get the upgrade. I'm going to just take a couple of both. Because why not? At least then if I've got my head turned around and doing things wrong, we can do it right. That's always uh, fun. But this is only beginning of bees anyway. This is this is just the automatic, the powered generation, if you like, of running these apiaries. So it's fully charged already. Let's try that. Yeah, it was humidifier, because it was too dry, so it wasn't those. So these are off. They're probably going to protest maybe protest about flowers so we'll, we'll we'll give them a flower keep them happy and what will happen is this will run through as normal i assume everything is working okay and yeah it's already produced because it's cultivated they've got a higher from the fast workers and obviously it works through and once it dies it will put the princess and the drone straight back in and repeat the process which is nice and it doesn't use that much power now the the lifespan upgrade I need to go and kill um, a spider I need to find a mushroom as well probably but what we can do with this is I'm going to get two apiaries then a space and two apiaries but I'll probably get six apiaries in actually and just have a solar panel 3 in it powering both of them that should be more than adequate and then we can just leave those running for a while and come back did I actually learn apiary was was that actually a thing that I even remembered to learn anyway let me uh, let those run for a while and uh, we'll come back to that in all right about coming towards the end but I have got enough dark matter now to throw together my dark matter pick which is nice um, and as we go further we'll get the tools and then the armor and yeah the world will be a jolly good and happy place I've also built a second industrial apiary I've left that running for well, probably a minecraft day um, probably not as much as I need to really but let us just scout out the area because if something blows up my apiary I will be upset so you can see that's now gone cultivated queen there's another drone in it's gone through one cycle it's made me 16 honeycombs let's take you out and while we're at it we'll place that down that should start charging up we can whack you in again it's got hot and hot automation upgrade to start off with so we'll put the humidifier in We'll put the temperature in everything is fine and that should be the meadows queen now i'm going to let it build up a stock of drones because these are useful later down the line with um i think it's uh oh god it's a protein liquefier we need off the top of my head uh for replicating genes so uh this will run exactly the same as that one while we're at it let's just have a look to see if these guys have done anything to my trees anything can't see any I probably need some 
I've got birch though, haven't I? They should be. There should be some mutation going on. I would have expected something by now with a couple of iterations of bees, but no, they don't seem to be uh, playing ball with the mutating the trees, which is annoying. Let me just have a look at saplings. Because obviously you've got all of these saplings, so for the apple oak is the usual. The Usually the kind of ones we end up with early doors are things like the silver lime, which if we've got pollen, we can do that in the mutatron. Um, from oak trees, so we should be able to get that. I wonder with a birch and an oak. Are they... Has, have they just changed something on me? Is that jungle sapling, teak? There should be a larch, something like a larch or a sapling. A sapling sapling. Mundane larch, for example, would go with silver birch and red spruce. So we do need spruce to get larch going. But they don't seem to be pollinating the actual or mutating the trees. Maybe I do need to go and... I'm in my hot key for that. Maybe I need to head over here and get some red spruce saplings and add those into the mix. Um, that's oak. That's an oak forest. I don't think I've seen dark oak anywhere yet in my, on my travels. No, I don't think I have. But spruce certainly wouldn't hurt anyway. And now I need to somehow get down out of this tree. But yeah, so the guys are doing the thing. Um, they're both pristine, so they shouldn't be. That's actually done another cycle because there's now more drones. And they'll just keep running quite happily. And this thing is obviously charging up as well, which is all really nice and good. Uh, we've got now our super duper indestructible pick. So there's no durability on that. And you can also charge that up uh, oh, what happened there in fact let me just go and double check it. if I recall what the dark matter pick does I think when you charge it up it um, it takes out more stuff there we are, I'm, I'm getting technical you see now so dark matter pick yeah it takes out a block no. Is it just doing it faster? Yeah, it seems to be speed. Hmm. I thought it did something a bit more impressive than that, but maybe... Maybe my memory is faulty. Um, it won't be the first time I've been accused of having a faulty memory. So, yeah, let's get uh, those off. And on that note, we've we've got some of the early stuff going now. There was actually the was there a pollen upgrade? Flowering and pollination twenty, pollen scrubber. Pollen collection, a pollen sieve. Ah, but now we need to get silk, silky wisp, which means we need silky propolis, which means we need silky comb, which we get from tropical or exotic bees. And exotic are steer and tropical. Yeah, I need to uh, find a jungle for to find tropical bees. So that's another thing for the future as well. But yeah, gender three, we're on the way steadily. Um, whether we do Gendistry next episode, well, we'll, we'll decide <laughs> uh, close to the time, to be honest. I think at, at this stage, maybe not, maybe try and do something else. But um, until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. And bye for now.